Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Terraforming Mars Prelude Expansion Strategy and Tactics. Uh, so let's see uh, let's see who we're gonna dive into today. Um, uh, yes, I um, I know some of you are looking for Startup Panic. That will resume on Monday. Uh, but today, I, I, I felt like one good terraforming Mars deserves another. So let's dive in, shall we? Okay, so we've got uh, actually two of the Earth-based uh, corpse on offer, one of which is one of the new ones, Point Luna. The moon is the perfect springboard to the solar system. The mining company Point Luna is the largest spaceport on Luna, making a per for, or perfect partner with Earth inventors wanting to realize their space projects. So we start with 38, which is a little bit on the lower side, and one titanium production, which is pretty good. Um, and every time we play an Earth tag, including this corp card, we get to draw a card. Not too shabby. So it's kind of a, an amalgamation of like Fobolog and Terracor. Um, so let's see what we can do here. And also, yeah, let's see what uh, we got here. Ooh, okay. Um, now, actually, before I go sp spending too much time pondering this, um, I want to see what my starter cards are, because my starter cards might dictate which of these prelude cards we take. And once you look at your pre your starter cards, you can go back to the prelude cards and swap them around. So let's look at the starter cards. Do we have something that's more than 25? Okay, Soleta. Soleta is is a viable option um advanced alloys because we start with production is a, a viable option um uh, asteroid more well i don't know who my opponents are um and you need somebody else with uh with that uh in order to capitalize on it but still um yeah we're gonna grab that soleta we're gonna grab this corporate stronghold corporate strongholds really good in the early game. I don't care about the minus two. Um, Electro Catapult's also really freaking good. Um, although we don't have any... Um, oh, we can grab a Lycan. We can grab a Lycan and that'll be our plant production for the Catapult. Yeah, now that's going to soak up a lot of our stuff here, but still. Um, Alright, let's go back to the Prelude card. So we know we want the Eccentric Sponsor. This allows you to play a card from your hand and reduce its cost by 25 immediately, uh, which is crazy powerful. Uh, and if we combine that, if we combine the Soleta with the Mohol Excavation, I know we took that last time, but it's still really good. Um, I think that or Society Support. Actually, Society Support gives us, gives us the plant production, the power that we need to play that. Yeah, Society Support. And the extra heat, which combined with the Soleta, turns it into a full heat per thing. I know we're not, I know we did heat last time, but dang. All right, so society support. We want corporate stronghold. We want the electro catapult. Uh, we want the Soleta. Now we gotta be careful not, we need to leave ourselves um, at least, um, at least 10. Uh, cash uh, because we need to be able to buy the Soleta and obviously we want to buy some other stuff so we don't need the Lycan. I do want the advanced alloys because that'll be useful to us in the long run. I don't know if um, the asteroid mining consortium would be a good thing. And fish is too late game. Yeah, four cards isn't too bad. Yeah, let's do it. Inventrix, Saturn Systems, okay. All right, eccentric sponsor. So Soleta. Turn one Soleta is crazy. And yeah, I know we're going minus one income, but we can play the corporate stronghold right off the bat, which instantly brings us back to a plus two income. So I'm not worried about that. And getting a, uh, um, a plus one heat and a plus one plants on top of that? Much, much appreciated. All right, Allied Bank. So they're getting the cash monies. 
and Metals Company. Interesting. So he, I, I should have gone with the the um, the spaceport one, the 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 one that lets me sap. Um, Nitrogen shipment, excellent. Okay. Well, at least Saturn didn't get anything crazy. Okay, so. Oh yeah, so we got a free card too. Uh, solar wind power, actually that's really good to get. Um, not necessarily for this one, but this can give us the juice we need for the electro catapults going forward. Um... Yeah, we want to start with the Corporate Stronghold, certainly. That's really all we want to do right now. Um, now, the question becomes, where do we put this thing? Um, I mean, I could do the same thing. Stomp on this tile, pick up the, uh, pick up the uh, titanium. We, we, do have, we do have titanium expenditures in our future. Uh, and with the advanced alloys, it'll make those worth more, too. Yeah, I think that is the correct answer. The other option would be to put it right here. Um, to basically call dibs on, because nobody's going to want to put um, greeneries around here. And they won't be able to put uh, cities around here. Um, so that kind of helps us call dibs on that. But I think we'll be able to get things going a little bit faster. Yeah. So it's about long term versus short. I mean, we certainly know we want to do the corporate stronghold. But do we want to pick up that extra one? You know what? I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to I'm going to call dibs right here in the middle. There's our plus three income. And that's that is my turn. That is my first generation turn, but that's good enough for me because we're making we're making a enough heat to do a uh, um, a temperature rise every freaking turn. All right, well, at least they didn't get at least Saturn systems didn't get Ganymede colony. That's one of the new ones. And they're adding it to the card. I want to see what that card does. I, I didn't I didn't get a chance to see it properly. No, no, no. I know what cards I played. I want to see what Saturn systems played. When uh, paying for a plant card, microbes here may be used as a... Ah. Interesting. So it's like it's it's like a, a, a mining card, but for plants. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Alright. Ah, I got my city out before you got that out. Oh, and an early demos down. Well, they get the first heat up, but that's fine. And there goes my plants. <laughs> I should have I should have gone with the titanium. Granted, I only lost two plants, so that's not the end of the world. Jeeves, leave some heat for the rest of us, please. It's gonna be another high heat game here. Well, we're getting our stuff going here. All right, well, yeah, we do go last, but I don't think there's any turn sensitive things that we need to worry about at the moment. All right, um. We don't need power. 
Immigrant City is a distinct possibility, because it's nice and early in the game. Um, but I don't know how many other cities are going to be played down here. Large Convoy is another nice one, but uh, it's too expensive for the moment. I'll draft Immigrant City for the time being. And there's Coppola. We could be uh, we we could go for uh, we could go for a push for uh, mayor tag here. Regolith Eaters is also a thing uh, because nobody's touched oxygen yet. But no, I think um, I think this these these three named cities let us go for a uh, uh, subterranean reservoir is a good one early on, and not so much with insects. Okay, let's let's plan this out. Because we want our, our goal is to get Electro Catapult up and running as soon as possible. Um, so these two together are 20 minus minus four because of the uh, 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 the one titanium we have. Um, so that's that puts that's uh, 16, which puts us one away from the Electro Catapult. Which is unfortunate, but in which case it's fine to take all three of these because it's alright if I'm delayed a turn. I can actually just play the ocean. Ah, dropping a protected valley that early. Interesting. It's going to be an interesting city spot. I mean, I could go rushing for the Coppola or the migrant city. Let's see how this, uh, let's see how this, um, no, nah, I'm not going to be able to pull that. Um, I do want to get advanced alloys down because I want my one titanium to, to have a little more oomph. Hmm, that puts me down to nine. And unfortunately, I won't be able to... yeah. So yeah, we can't get the catapult this turn. But that's alright. Towing a comet. Yeah, we will pop our heat, however. No reason to not do that every single turn of the game. But yeah, because getting that catapult up and running will give us... It's essentially like getting a seven income per turn, um, which is huge, especially early in the game. Why does Saturn have so much heat? Also, remember we are on the lookout for um, um, for Earth tags because those give us free cards. Ah, uh, fuel factory? Maybe. Although, actually, I want to go Giant Space Mirror because we need the extra electricity here. For all the things that we want that require power, we, we need the electricity. And that's a fantastic one because we've got a lot of that. Urbanized area! Oh, yeah, we're just going just straight down Electricity Alley here. And there's kelp farming. I'm going to grab it. I don't know if I'm going to keep it because we aren't at Six Oceans yet. Um, but it's a good one. Not going to grab standard tech. I think I'm just going to take these two, because we do need cash liquidity here to keep our stuff going. Jeez, 
she's interplanetary. What the heck are you doing? I mean, obviously you're going for the uh, uh, for the gardener ta for the gardener milestone, but that's that's to be expected. Okay, so um, yeah, we want electro catapult first because then we can use that to spit out more cash. And we also want to play that before we hit the um, uh, oxygen limit. And yeah, we'll sell plants and once if we can get ourselves some um, uh, steel production, we'll start selling that. But for the time being, waste not, want not on its uh, on its upside here. Oh, don't you dare. God damn it. Well, now we need to find some form of production if we want to keep using our electro catapult. Hey, quit don't don't quit hogging the good city spots. Well, we can slap down the uh, giant space mirror this turn uh, to give us all the juice we need. But you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to keep it for a turn. I know it would give us some extra heat, but that's not really going to benefit us because we were already kind of working that. And uh, I want to be able to use more of my titanium to further reduce the financial impact of that. So I am choosing not to play the mirror. I will, however, expend the heat. Because yeah, we're not as quite as flush with cash this uh, this this playthrough here. So we gotta make uh, we gotta make our, our our resources count where they can. Still haven't seen any earth tags, which is unfortunate. Because that's that's one aspect of our uh, of our corp that is not being utilized properly. Because um, yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get the mirror down and then we'll start playing cities. Obviously, we want to start with the immigrant city. That's um, more as as more and more cities get played. There's an earth tag, um, and actually it helps other earth areas. Um, as much as I want to go for domed crater, I want the freebie cards. Um, ants? Yeah, you've got, um, somebody's got some stuff. We can go for ants. Uh, there's the earth tag. Um, and bribe committee at this juncture is a is a is a good uh, good investment, especially with the Earth Office. Um. So yeah, Earth Office bribe committee ants. Yeah, we're going to start nibbling those away. Okay, so let's 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 get our city infrastructure in first. And see, this is why I wanted that to wait for that extra thing. This costs us one. And now we've got power to splash. And we will put you there. That gives us two greeneries plus uh, a, a two uh, cost benefit there. That does temporarily harm our um, income, but we're going to be playing lots more cities ourselves um, and, and hopefully grabbing mayor. Nope, there's a capital and hey, that, that, that's worth another city. 
It's a really weird place to place it. But hey, whatever. And we're we're back up. We're back up to our income here. Alright. Dropping some greenhouses, that's fine. Hmm, did he use up all of his microbes with the greenhouses? I gotta check, because I might delay my placement of ants. Yep, he used them all up, so... Can't... I, I don't want to play ants this turn. Alright, we can urbanize the area. Um, I don't quite have enough for Coppola. Or do I? Actually, I kind of do. We will use our thing. Because, yeah, I learned my lesson here. We want to get Coppola down now before the oxygen gets away from us. And yeah, right here makes a lot of sense because it gives us another uh, gives us another freebie. And now, yeah, I don't have the cash to play um, uh, to play my thing. Um, my my grab the milestone this turn, but. I don't think anyone else is going to be able to grab Mayor before me. And now we're building up our cash appreciably. Ooh, and another great place for a city. Uh, we can play our Earth office. And that gives me a free card. And now we can play Bribe Committee. Which gives me a free card. All right, now we're now we're getting the Earth Tag engine going. Ooh, I need to find a way to raise the oxygen level and see if I can get the double double next turn, because it looks like I'm going to get first dibs at that. All right, Rad Suits is a good one. Uh, wave Power is a good one if I need more electricity. I don't at the moment, but it's good to know. All right, hopefully I grab a card that lets me raise the oxygen level directly. Because I really don't want to have to drop 35 on, on that on a greenery thing. I will if I have to, because it's that powerful of a move. All right, um... We're almost at permafrost. Yeah, I'll grab that in case it becomes relevant. Nuclear zone or pat? Oh, pets, pets. Wish I had got that one earlier. Granted, I hate handing somebody else nuclear zone, but I also hate handing somebody else pets. And at this stage of the game, five gens in pets is the better investment. Um, almost too late for extreme call, but I'm going to, I'm going to hate draft it so nobody else gets it. And then ironworks. Well, I know I don't have the power for ironworks. All right, so we're going to grab permafrost and pets. Yeah. I'm going to have to buy it, but I think I know a good way to do it. I know a good spot for it. We're going to do it right here. You'll see why in a minute. 
Well, probably next turn. Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's sell. Let's sell some plants. Because now I might actually be able to do something more on this turn when it comes back around to me. Imported water. All right, that might make my. Uh, they start spamming the oceans, that might make that a little bit of an iffier proposition. Oh yeah, I gotta buy my um, mayor. That's probably what I'm gonna do with the, with the money that I have. Because I don't want to forget about that and have somebody spam down some cities and then ninja it from me. Because what would we be able to play besides that? I mean, rad suits would be nice, but no, we want to grab mare. And then we'll pop our heat. We'll be pretty close to that perma... I think, actually, no, I think we can do permafrost extraction at this point. Once, once we have the money for it, of course, but that would give us access to these resources, which will actually make things a lot better for us. Actually, I might want to do both the ocean tiles with my two ocean cards next turn and grab the double-double uh, ocean resources. Uh, because that, that we can flip into so much more. Gonna be another sh uh, short game. All right, let's just hope nobody else spams out too many uh, ocean tiles, cause I'd like to use my ocean cards. Cebu, play, please and thank you. And down to fourth. Right, let's see what we got. Research outpost. Well, um, that is a thing. Hmm. Cloud seeding might be a better thing, though. Though, hmm. Research outpost is good just for the for the things of it. I might not necessarily buy that one. Um, how many earth tags? Not, well... I think media archives works better. Sponsors works. Frosty. Yeah, we don't have the electricity for that. Yeah, I'm not going to get Research Outpost. We have too many cards in our hand for that to really pay itself off. And I need to make sure I keep enough cash on hand um, to be able to pull off my ocean stuff. Uh, don't take the... don't take the things. They took the things. Boo! Oh, thank you. Thank you kindly. Well, at least I'm not in the animals game. All right, now I can do my other ocean tile things at the very least. Um, so let's start. And actually, yeah, media doing these two event cards will be good. Let's do permafrost extraction first. We'll go up here. 
Um, and then subterranean reservoir goes down here. Oh, thank you so much. That actually really, really benefits me. He doesn't even realize it, though. I know what my next couple of moves are. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so they grab Builder. So that's all the milestones off the table. Yeah, this game's going to end real quick. Um, so the ocean bonus is off the table. I'm glad I played my ocean cards when I did. Alright, so pets into urbanized area. It would be a would be a sensible uh, would be a sensible thing. Um, yeah, pets in the urbanized area. Because look at this urbanized area thing. This this is like a luxury urbanized area, with three uh, greeneries around it already. And another pet. I don't think they're going to end it this gen, but it'd probably be, be ended next gen. Um, banker. Okay. Even if I'm not uh, in first place for that, that'll still be uh, something I can at least contend for second for. All right. Uh, let's... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be converting plants into greeneries anytime soon. Let's see what we can buy. Now, Media Archives is a good one. Oh, we got a Lava Tube Settlement. Well, we've got Wave Power for that. Can't believe it. Okay. Uh, but no, let's get Media Archives first, because that will give us a burst of cash. Gives us eight and a free card. Well, we only paid three for the card plus eight. So actually, we got an e even return on our investment. Well, we got a free card out of it, is what we got. <laughs> not quite enough events, or not quite as many events as I thought. Uh, but at least we broke even on it. So let's see what else we can play. Media group. Now you get media group. No, I'm not playing you media group. Um, eight. I think wave power plus sponsors is the correct answer because then we can lava tube settlement next turn. And the sponsors will give us a new, uh, another free card. And also the sponsors will help us go towards the banker award, increasing our income, even if we don't necessarily benefit from it monetarily. Pop our own heat. And yeah, nothing else we can do at the moment. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of greenery points, uh, but mostly due to my opponents. All right, um, worms, we don't have enough, we don't have any, yeah, we don't have the microbes for the worm. It's too late for all arctic algae, black polar dust, too late. Research coordination, this is, uh, this counts as just a wild card. I'll draft it, 
just in case it denies somebody else. Uh, not search for life. Noctis farming's kind of weak. I mean, I'll take it, because it's the only one that could be played. Moho! No, it's too late for Moho. Methane from Titan, too late for that, too. I mean, I'll take it, just to deny it from Saturn. The Saturn can... Uh, actually, a couple of people can do that. So, yeah, you know what? I don't actually think I'm going to be playing any of these. Uh, well, any uh, buying any of these. I mean, maybe Noctis Farming. But Hackers, it's too late for, for that. Although, there's that award out there. Hackers could actually tip the balance. Who, who bought that award? Yeah, Interplanetary Cinematics. Um, we could actually grab the Banker Award from them with Hackers by, by nerfing their income. Um, now we need more power for that. Um, and I've already got my power spoken for here. But though, that actually might be a more potent play here. Rather than playing the, uh, the Lava Tube Settlement. Because the Lava Tube Settlement, although that makes me go up by two anyway. Mm, but it doesn't make them go down by two. And taking, uh, taking first prize in that award is actually going to be a little bit more... Although Lava Tube Settlement gives me another plus one. Um, so this would actually make me match them, and then Rad Suits would... I'd pull ahead. So I don't need to involve myself with the hackers. Okay. Um, I think I might go Noctis Farming just for the extra edge. Landlord, eh? Well, I don't know how... Well, I mean, we're placing lots of city tiles, that's for certain. I do think I want to pop my heat early in case somebody goes nuts with that. Because I want to make... Because I don't. we don't have Caretaker this turn. Uh, so is there anything else that is super time-sensitive that we need to worry about? Uh, we do want to get the settlement down so no one na nabs any of the good spots. Um, which would probably be this spot right here, because it gives us two greeneries plus a free card. And yeah, let's do that first in case the free card uh, changes our mind on something, gives us some sort of epiphany. Oh, no! It, I misread the card. It has to be on one of the volcano tiles. Gotcha! Well, in that case... Um, yeah, we want it right here, because we want the greenery. More pets. Alright, yeah, then let's actually yeah, let's let's pop the heat so nobody else finishes the temperature on our on us. Yep. Free city. Oh, yeah, you're taking the keen spot. But hey, free uh, free uh, income from me. And free pets, too. So I'm being like a diet tharsis right now. Dark grenades! Almost, almost missed that one. And yeah, I think the ants aren't going to necessarily pay off. I mean, I can have them start nibbling the tar grenades. Um, it's unfortunate that I'm not getting any good space cards here. I could drop the media group if only to draw another card. But hey, yeah, let's get ants. So I don't know if this is going to be the last gen. Actually, do we want to dictate the last reward here? Scientist, no. Thermalist, we have... Well, we might want to grab Thermalist. Because you've got a 1 production. You've got a 5 production. 
You've got no production. Thermalist might be a smart investment for us. Yeah, we might as well sell the plants because we're not going to get in. And we're not anywhere close to converting. Ooh, now let's see if the IA's learned how to. They've almost learned how to place commercial districts. They used to place them exactly like regular cities, um, in which case the correct answer would be right here. But that's closer. And yeah, there goes the heat. Alright, advanced ecosystems. I don't actually know how, how good we are doing. Oh! Yeah, I was gonna buy Thermalist too! Thank you, Red Play. You saved me a lot of money. You beat me to it, but it was the same reward that I was gonna use. Yeah, all we need is two more oxygen, but yeah. Um So yeah, Rad Suits makes a lot of sense. Extra victory point, extra income. Uh, we'll go nibble on somebody's... Uh, yeah, they use all that, so we got we to nibble on a tar grenade. If we can do one more turn, we'll get one victory point out of the ants. Well, that's one closer. Oh, thank you for the points. And there goes... Well, I don't have the production, so that's no skin off my back. Yeah, you know what? I think I might drop Media Group, see what I what card I draw for free. Martian Rails. Um It probably won't be profitable given the cost of the card. So I'm not gonna do it. Unless this uh yeah, because I don't have the power production for next turn. So yeah, no, that that, that didn't work out. I will play um, Noctis Farming, though, for the income. Yeah, if the, yeah it looks like uh, we're going to get one more turn out of this. And yeah, I'm going to sell both of these on this turn, just so I have the extra liquidity, because neither of these are going to be played next turn. So I might as well use the, my turn in the previous gen uh, to get some cash. So that I have the most resources at my disposal in the final turn of the game. Interplanetary Cinematics is at 15. I'm at 17. So it's still a horse race, but I'm winning right now. Man, Inventrix is at 12. These are some sky-high incomes here. All right, what do we got here? Um, favorite project? That would give me half a victory point. Not really worth it. Local heat trapping, on the, on the other hand, would. Um, but then there's Vesta Shipyard. Which, ah, uh, I might need to hate draft that from somebody. Keep it from them. Yeah, no, let's hope local heat draft. Eh... I mean, it's got an Earth tag. It's worth free cards. Lava flows, no. Ice asteroid, no. Obviously, I'm not going to buy either of those. And flooding, no. Okay, so heat trapping Olympus Conference. And he's got plants ready to go. So, I mean, I could end the game right here by dropping a greenery tile. I might want to do that, too. Um, hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to be the one to get the uh, the rise, and I'm going to get the two uh, steel out of it, too. Because um, then I can go Olympus Conference and play that for dirt cheap and get some extra cards to play around. Now, if I get a science tag on this one, I'll be happy. Or a space tag. Yeah, there's Vesta. I really wanted to draft that, because that's going to give them stuff. Because I know uh, Inventrix is the one with uh, the Ganymede space colony, so that's going to give them extra points. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about the scores here. Glad I used my steel. Yeah, everyone's getting birds, but this will be the last turn, so no one can really go crazy milking it. Toll station. <laughs> well, I mean, it gives me it gives it, it basically locks down my my. Uh, my thing here, so I'll take it. It's free, ain't it? Yeah, plus seven. Yeah, I get banker. Thank you very much. And yeah, tar grenades the only one I can nibble on. But now that makes the ants worth one point. Oh yeah, I should start buying cities in prime locations here. I should have I should have bought the city first. Yeah, because now everyone's just dropping money on wherever they can get with cities. Actually, are there? There is one one open area for a city. Oh, I'm glad I played the pets. Ooh. Really? He's gonna get the nitrogen? Cause he, I think, yeah, Saturn can make full use of the nitrogen. Uh, I'm a little worried about Saturn, truth be told. So we're at 33. I don't think we're going to be able to afford the city plus a greenery. Um, and I don't, there's no, there's no places where I can get double a greenery to affect two of my cities here. I could put a city here, but I again I don't think I'll have enough. Although I do can still sell my thing. All right, yeah, you know what? Let's do a city here. I didn't do all the math in my head, but close enough. More pets. No, that's not going to be enough. Even if I sell my plant. Yep, not quite enough. Because even if I kept that plant, I couldn't con convert those plants, even if I didn't took the plants option with my heat conversion. Um, it wouldn't give me enough. 
So, one extra point there. Plus some extra pets. And now, actually, before I even play Local Heat Trapping, is this going to cost me Thermalist? So I'm at 12, I'd go up to 20. 15 to 20 to 21. He's going to beat me in Thermalist because of that, that spare power right there. So Saturn's going to beat me to Thermalist regardless. Now, who's second place? I'm definitely going to beat them. And I'm definitely gonna be, so there's there's no reason for me not to play the local heat trapping because I'm going to be second place in thermalist anyway. And we'll go for the two pets. And we'll keep ourselves cash liquid in case we hit a tie. But I am nervous about... Oh, well, thank you, Saturn. That was a free point they just gave me. I guess they had nowhere else to expand to. Maybe they're that confident. Or they just wanted the landlord. Let's see what we got. Even more granaries for them. And no plant conversions for me. Okay. Fingers crossed on this one, folks. I, I have no clue. All right. Nine points of awards. Good. Five points of milestones. Two points of uh, greeneries, 13 points of cities, and oh, <laughs> that was close. I knew Saturn was nipping at my heels. I didn't realize it was that close. They could have cost themselves the game by giving me that extra point with that one greenery tile. They, oh, I mean, they wouldn't have. I, I still would have beat them by one, but damn. Ah, I'm glad I got those extra pets. <laughs> that was close. That was close, but hey, it's a nice victory. A nice, nice victory. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!